And today I'm going to be showing you how to stretch a linen canvas. I'm actually working with raw linen. It's a portrait grade Belgian linen. And I have an 11 by 14 uh, stretcher bar set up that's already straight. I've made sure to straighten it with a square first. And I also have a stapler. And um, I'm going to show you how to make a perfect corner. So let's begin. It's important to start in the very middle with one staple on each side. And depending on the size that you're going to use, you should either tighten the linen or leave some slack. If you're using rabbit skin glue for your size, you'll want to leave some slack. If you're using um, an acrylic polymer or PVA, you'll want to tighten it fairly tight. So we go all four sides. And then we work out from those middle staples. Making sure to pull the fabric away from the center. Now I'm a lefty, so this might be a little hard to translate, but um, the way that I do it, the corners, is I'll staple out to one end, leaving some space here before I add other staples. Okay, so I'm going to finish up this corner, folding it down and across. And then a staple. And staple it on the side. Then I can finish the other side. We do the same on all four sides, going all the way to the end here, bringing it up, folding down and across for a nice clean fold. It, should ha it might still have some wrinkles on the linen, but the size will take care of that. The size that you use, um, I use a PVA size. Um, otherwise, an acrylic polymer is great. So the purpose of the size is actually to prevent the oil um, in an oil painting or the oil ground from rotting the linen. It, it's a protective barrier. And it also helps to tighten the linen to your stretcher bars. So it's a great way to get a nice, tight, drum-like feel to your canvas. It's a great surface to paint on.